Hey everyone, this is Deborah Cooper from SurvivingDating.com. I wanted to give you a little bit of information about how you could become a better lover. This is from a clip of a recent show entitled, Why Do People Lie So Much? It provides you with a little bit of information, guidance on how you can help a partner that may be a bit shy about telling you how things really are in the bedroom, on how you, know, how you can get them to share their thoughts with you. Enjoy it. All right, Mr. Black, Jay Black, your mic's open. What's your question or comment? Hey, how you doing tonight? I'm not too bad. Okay. I just had a comment about, um, you know, the reason why people lie. Uh, I just want to, you know, kind of just touch on that. I think I think the reason why people lie is because they don't want to hurt uh, someone else's feelings, especially in relationships, uh, and uh, particularly, you know, sexual relationships, you know, when it comes to sex, people try to, uh, I guess, avoid telling the truth, like, especially if it doesn't feel like doing sex, if it doesn't, you know, they're not being pleased or satisfied by the person, they don't want to hurt their hurt their feelings, so they kind of lie, you know, mm-hmm. uh, to avoid that, and women, I think women do it because they, you know, they try to uh, stroke, you know, their, uh, the guy's ego, and not let them down, so, to, you know, I guess, uh, sort of keep them around uh, longer. And but no, no one wins if if you do that. You know, no one wins in the end. So I think honest communication. I mean, I love honesty, and I think that's the way, way to go. So I, I can appreciate a woman being honest to me, uh, honest with me, uh, no matter what it is. And uh, and uh, I'm the same way when it comes to women. Well, you know what? I, I have to say this: in the 20 years I've been doing what I'm doing, mm-hmm. to hear you say that, you are the exception, honey. You are not the rule. <laughs> And I'm I'm not trying to blow smoke up your butt or nothing. I'm just telling you, most of the guys will put a lot of emphasis on my woman needs to, you know, pump me up. She needs to build me up. She needs to red, lift, what's the word phrase? Lift me up, raise me up, something yeah. like that. Right. And, uh, you know, they don't want to hear it. And every dude thinks he is like a major, you know, stroker. He just putting it down, you know, all the stuff. And the woman, knowing that this would be crushing to this particular man's ego, you know, the women struggle with that because a lot of really, I would say probably ninety percent of men do not know what they're doing in bed. <laughs> wow, ninety percent. Ta- <laughs> yeah, they don't really, really wow. don't. No, because of this one thing, they don't want to hear what they could do better. They wow. don't want to hear what she doesn't like that they do. They don't want to hear it. And so it becomes, you know, because what you get is as soon as a woman will say something, well, all my other women liked it. Right. Or she's not thinking, you know, like she's having these massive, you know, convulsive orgasms. <laughs> well, all my other women, you know, you something's wrong with you. No, they just faked it, dude. <laughs> just You don't uh-huh. get it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's the kind of thing that, like I said, you know, I'm not really trying to puff your head up or nothing. I just want you to understand that what you just said, is not the norm. And yeah, so you have millions of women who are dealing with those other kinds of guys, right. and so they lie to them and use vibrators, or they lie to them and cheat. Yeah, and that's right. And that's and that's kind of bad for me because then when I do, you know, when I, if I do find a woman that I like and, and things are not going uh, right for her, then I have to put up with her line. I got to put up with that. I won't know if she's telling me the truth. I mean, telling me the truth or not. If you know, and if I ask her to tell me, you know, you know, how's everything, you know, going as far as you know, sex wise, she might not, you know, tell me the truth because she has, you know, she feels like she needs to lie. And that's not good. I won't want that. You know, I won't want no one lying to me, especially when it comes to that, because I would like for the woman to be uh, just as satisfied as I am. You know, the goal for men should be to have the woman that they love sprung like a motherfucker. <laughs> that should be your goal. And wow. I'm gonna tell you, this is the this is how men this is what men do not do. They get into bed and they pay more attention to what they're thinking and feeling than what the woman is. A true lover. Now you know men. I mean, once you get it in, that's pretty much you know that's what's required. But for women, it's mental. It's emotional. It's right. all yeah. kind oral. It's mm-hmm. auditory. I mean, it's it's so much going on with the females in the sexual realm. Yeah. Most men don't understand it. So I'm going to say this one thing right here. Any man that wants to become a better lover, stop focusing on you 
and pay attention to your woman. You can tell by her breathing. If she stops going, you know, huh, huh, like that, okay, that means something's wrong. Whatever you were doing that made her go, huh, huh, you need to go back and do that. And, <laughs> you know, and if you are in doubt and you're trying to figure her out because this is a new body to you, tell her, baby, I want to explore you. I want to go over your whole body, and I want to tell you, you want you to tell me which things that I'm doing to you feel good. Give her a scale, like one to five. Make it very, like, okay, is this a five, like like top of the scale, great, or is this a one? Learn your woman's body. Put in some time and energy and effort, and once you get all the five and four spots, use those. And you will have her climbing the walls every time. But God, dudes don't want to do that. I mean, that takes time. That may even take a week or two or three. Or, you know what I mean? It's going to take some time for you to do that. It's not something, a process that you rush through. But once you pay attention to her and learn those areas, you, she won't be shit of it. She won't need to lie because you will be, like, making the magic happen. But I, I cannot tell you how many dudes don't want to do that. I, I know what I'm doing. You tell her you try to tell me. I don't know what the, I know what the fuck I'm doing. In this kind of attitude, well, and you got to. Mm, I'm, I'm sorry, telling you. No, no, no. I'm just telling. How can you tell the difference between okay? You said if, she, if I'm doing what I, need, what I need to do, if I'm pleasing her, and I'm paying attention to her, and I got her down back. But how can you tell? Some women are are really good actresses when it comes to that. So you won't really know. Is she no, lying I, still hey, or if she's, one you know. to five, nah, You don't do it. You That's what you do. I mean, if you're just listening, like if this is your, your woman already and then you're trying something new with her, then, you know, pay attention to the sounds and the, the movements. Okay, if she's quivering and making those little noise, okay, you you on a five. You don't need to ask her anymore. But what I'm saying is, if you're if this is a new person, a new body, this is you guys a new couple. Ask, talk, and like I said, give her the scale one to five. So you stroke here, okay? You know, do you like this? You kiss her neck, whatever. Is this a one or a five? Ooh, that's a five. Okay, so then you. <laughs> You stroke her hair, and you say, well, do you like this? Oh, I love that. That's a three or four, but I really love it. It relaxes me. Okay, so then you rub her shoulders. You're rubbing her back. What's this? Ooh, my back is real sensitive, you know, especially down by my butt. That's a five. Okay, you see what I mean? So you're talking. You two are communicating. That is what I think is missing in a lot of relationships. So people end up lying because they want to, of course, keep the relationship going, but after a certain point, when communication has broken down, they don't know what to do to say to get it started again. Right. So this is my idea of what to do. It releases all the blame, all the ego. You're not, you know, you're, you ain't involved in it. Your ego's not involved. Her neither is hers. The relationship's not on the on the on the on the, on the scale on the chopping block or anything. You are merely exploring each other's bodies, and you know, have her do the same with you. So right. then you do her, and then she does you. And, you know, you do one to five. This is a five. This is a four. Yeah, that's a one. That's a minus 12. This, you know, you know right. give each other feedback so that you communicate what you like, how you like it. And then by the after you guys do go through that process, once you get together and put all that in action, then you know, <laughs> I, 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 do, you, do, you, do you feel like, okay, how do you feel about, do you think, uh, somebody in the chat room asked this as well, do you feel like women can handle honesty? Because, I, I mean, I was honest with a woman before when it came to sex, and she couldn't handle it. She was so uh, immature, uh, and then she got angry, and I never heard from her again. But I was just being honest with her, you know, about Okay, no how sex. long were you being honest? Okay, let me explain. There's honest, there's like blunt, brutal honesty, and there's tactful honesty. If you are in a relationship with someone, you must always, always use tactful honesty. What does that mean? Okay, you do not say anything like, you know, I hate that. <laughs> Why you always do that? <laughs> okay, you see what I mean? You can't, you can't do that can't talk to a person like that. You would say, and this would not be a time when you're in bed, you would say, you know, well, baby, you know, I really, if you do blah, 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 I would really prefer if you do blah, 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 blah. Okay? Now, your focus is on the act, not on her. And that's the same 
a thing I tell women to do with men. There's no need to attack your partner. That's someone you love. You don't want to necessarily hurt them. What you want is a better result in the sheets. And if you want a better result in the sheets, you talk about the sheets. You don't talk about that person. And that's what's important. And I think a lot of people don't understand that, dif- you know, don't make that differentiation. All right. Okay. I understand. Okay. Now, I, see, I didn't realize I was going to be having a, a sex lesson up in here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but anyway, I got a couple of people on hold, but thank you for calling. It was a good, that you know, you, you've asked some great questions, and they gave me an opportunity to, to, to say something I probably wouldn't have said otherwise. So thank you. All right. Thank you.